Hey everyone. So today we are going to talk about the Apple App Site Association. We all know Apple App Site Association is used for the universal link thing, where you know you can make your universal links, and from uh, some other app, if they click on some link, you can redirect directly into your application and uh, open your specified uh, controllers or screens as per your choice. So we are not here to discuss about how universal links are integrated. but we will here to debug uh, the apple app site association so first point will be uh, we will see whether the process is being initiated or not and second step will be going into the system diagnose where we will find out uh, that how we can check the request of our apple app site association sometimes what happens uh, we don't know what is happening and uh, universal links are not working so we do some uh stuff like deleting the application uh resetting phone or maybe restarting the phone shutting down the phone and again uh after you know switching it back on we will install the application and then it suddenly works so it not might be the case every time but we should know uh, to die uh, to actually debug the error what is actually happening and why apple app site association is failing so it would be good if you if we can get the exact error so that we can fix it at our end so we'll try to dig a bit deeper in this so let's get started so i have two domains uh, one is samplehall.com and i have an apple app site association hosted here and i have one firebase samplehall.com and i have the apple app site association hosted here as well so make sure that apple app site association should be hosted at the root level of your domain otherwise apple won't entertain it now i created a new project where i you know mark my bundle id uh, for which the associated links is being generated the aso file is being generated and the in the associated domain section make sure to add these associated domains in order to enable the universal links So here I will write my two domains www.samplehall.com and samplehall.page.link. So these two domains, whenever your application is being installed, Apple will actually see uh, these domains and check for the Apple App Site Association file if it is present or not. Okay. So let us install the application. But before installation, what we will do, we'll go to the device and simulators, and here you can see there is a small button, Open Console. i just click on the button and you will see a console being opened so we'll choose the device which are actually connected with the x code so i have my iphone x here and i'll just press on start so it will start logging some console activities uh, which are not related to my application yet but they are related to the system level activities so now come back to the application and let's install the application on my iphone so it's it's a very fresh application already there are no applications of test asa so uh, yeah my application is being installed and now i can go back to the console and i can just pause this process okay so you can see it's like 5500 messages on console and you know it's not easy to find uh, whether my apple app site associations request is being initiated or not so in this console thing what we'll do I'll try to find out SWCD. Just write SWCD, and you'll get the list of all the processes which are marked with SWCD. And in this SWCD, uh, we'll try to find out whether our Apple App Site Association is being initiated or not. So I am not able to find it for the time being. I'm trying. Okay, let's not try like this. Uh, uh, there is another keyword, beginning data task. So let's find this. Okay, so we uh, get these two methods, or even you can write, uh, you can just filter out and write A A S A, and you will get this A A task. So let me write A A S A as well. So here you can find out at the bottom. So beginning task A A S A. so you can see the apple app site association for the domains which are actually masked uh, for the sample dot sample hall dot page dot link or for the sample hall dot com domain is being initiated 
so basically this is telling me that your request for the apple app site association is being catered and is being started so you know that's, that's fine we are good to go like you know we know that now the device uh, while installing the application has initiated the request fine so you can you can just see the domains you just you can make it out these are the same domains the two domains which i have put here samplehall.com and samplehall.page.ly and they are just mass domains now it's not showing the complete thing all right now uh, there is one more approach which i will be sharing you in a moment where i need to record the device thing where i'll tell you how you can create a sys uh, diagnose file in your device so i'm going to pause this video and later on i will uh, show you how you can uh, actually create a system diagnose file in your iphone and later on how you can uh, transfer and see the actual status okay guys so in this second section where we are actually trying to get the system diagnose file i'll tell you how we can generate the system diagnose file so first of all we need to press these two volume buttons okay the up button and the down button and when we are pressing these two buttons i also want you to press the power button but make sure this power button should be pressed for like 300 milliseconds only yeah it's very hard to actually calculate the 300 milliseconds but uh, what will happen when you will press these two volume buttons and along with that you will press this power button you will get a haptic like vibration a very short vibration and that short vibration is an indication that your system diagnose report is being ready in the settings so i'll show you where you can find the system diagnose settings but for the time being uh, let's just initiate our system diagnose file so click on these two okay i have tabbed and then i will press the power button here okay so i'm pressing the i have pressed the two volume buttons and now i'm going to press the power button for like 250 to 300 milliseconds and that's it i left it and i got a haptic i got a haptic vibration you can also land to this page but don't worry if you get a haptic vibration uh, a very small short vibration the, that means that you have initiated the system diagnose file and where you can find it uh let me show you you can find it in the settings you'll go to the settings and in the settings you go to the privacy in the privacy you go to the analytics and improvements and in analytics and improvements you go to data so here is a complete list of the analytics which is being captured by our apple device but after 10 minutes you will see a new file here a new file here which is which will list as sys diagnose currently we are not seeing in the s section we are not seeing any sort of sys diagnose file so let's come back again after 10 minutes it's 6 15 now so let's come back after 10 minutes and see whether we get this file here or not okay guys so it's 6 19 so four minutes have been passed and let's check whether we have created the sys diagnose file so we'll go to the privacy and the privacy i'll go to analytics and improvements and analytics data so i'll just scroll to the bottom and you can see here a sys diagnose file which was initiated with the time frame here 6 14 29 seconds at 5 30 gmt that's my time zone so this six diagnose file is actually generated in four minutes only so that's great now what we will do we this is a very very big file it's like 200 to 300 mb now we will actually uh, transfer this file via airdrop to our mac system okay so it's been transferred it's a pretty big file so i'll now meet you on the system and i'll show you that how we can read this file this archive file and then we can find out 
what went wrong if our asa file wasn't successfully downloaded or we can how we can debug it okay guys see you there so we are back guys and now i'll show you that how you can uh, use the sys diagnose file to diagnose what is happening with your apple app site associations so this is the zip file here you can see that is 201.3 mb and while ex i'll extract it it will become much bigger than that let us see so if i go here and if i get the info so it's like 364.6 mb pretty big so here in this folder you can find everything about your device all the logs all the things all the status i don't know much about all the things but i'll surely tell you about the sys diagnose and system logs so these system logs are actually the same which were generated here itself so these are pretty same and we don't require because we don't get to know much information in these system logs these only told us that whether the AASA process is being initiated or not. Now we will go to the SWC util show.txt. So SWC util underscore show.txt is a file where you will see the complete services which are being called with the as a thing, the Apple App Site Association thing. So you can find out. Uh, this is a pretty small file in this case, but I have a separate phone where we have. Uh, like 60 70 apps so this file grows up very big so this is pretty small but in this file you can see the service app link so remember app links we'll go to xcode and you can see app links so x uh, the this apple treat this as a service thing and it actually downloads the apple app site association from these domains getting my point so i'll go to the app links and i'll search for my project so this is com.hall.symbol so my bundle boss this and I can see I have two app links associated with my domain so what is happening here for the one the sample hall domain thing you can see I have a uh, oblique and a uh, star which means that I have included all the paths here so you can see uh, in this particular uh, page where I am opening my Apple App Site Association file and we have only a single path. Now when I go to sample hall.page.link you can see we have a not as well as slash star and in that case you can see here we are getting exactly the same thing. You can see we have the oblique uh, underscore oblique star with this exclude path and we have a slash star part which are the included paths. So here we are not getting any sort of error there is no error object so this means that our app links are successfully downloaded it was last checked with my time frame on this time i am 5 minutes uh, sorry i am 5:30 uh, uh, ahead so it's like you can add 5 hours and 30 minutes to this particular section and see uh, after 5 days it will be checked again so asa is being checked again and again automatically by the system so that if there is an update in the asa file it can incorporate that update so i don't think it's uh, mandatory to uh, if i'm not wrong it's mandatory to update the application to get our latest updated asa file but as per this log it's saying that uh, uh, next time it will check after five days so i think that if your application is not being updated for a month as well then also uh, it will be updated six times a month after five days each this is what I believe I don't know if I am not right let me know so these are perfectly fine now let's see an example where I can find an error for any of the Apple App Site Association file so let me go to my applications which are being installed in my system so let's move it okay so I am not able to find one we'll try okay i'll just search for error here okay got it so we have an application of youtube kits maybe its app links are failing so you can see that we don't have any approved thing here both of them are unspecified which which weren't the case in our sample hall thing and you can see the error as well so you can see the error bad json content invalid character so there might be a slash comma or you can say any any braces or anything which this unicode character means uh, at the beginning of the value so this is not forming a valid json and that's why the 
Apple App Site Association for YouTube Kids is failing. Now you can see another one which is why it is failing. So this is the cause and we don't have any host here. So for the YouTube Kids, they might have uh, introduced kids.u-u.be but we don't have any Apple uh, means like there is no such host. So this is the exact error. So in this case, you can see the correct definition of the error and you can actually, uh, you know, correct those things. So YouTube kids, just correct your JSON. It should be a valid JSON. Let me check if we can check as well here. I'll write kids YouTube. And then I will write Apple App Site Association here. Let me see what is happening here. Oh, something is messed. So it's not a JSON file, it's an HTML file. So basically it's not downloading. Now let's check for the another application, which is this. And again, I'll copy the path, Apple App Site Association. So see, this host doesn't exist. So this error is something which is correct. And it is saying you that no such host. So this host is not existing, that's why, but you know, let's say you aren't aware of this host and you install this application and you're not able to figure out why my deep link is working but actually the cause is that the host is not existing so this helps us this swc util file actually helps us to understand deeply and correctly and precisely what the error is for the app store for the apple app site association files right we have another one in secure redirects forbidden maybe ghana is what it's doing it's like redirecting from uh, one side to another sites probably so this might be the case make sure that you don't have redirects uh, when uh, when you are actually assessing this apple app site association file there shouldn't be any redirects and also there should be any proxy like charles or anything because when you're installing an application and you have charles connected with the iphone then i think charles probably don't care of downloading the apple app site so apple don't download it Maybe it treats it as a proxy connection and the Apple App Site Association is never downloaded. So make sure you are not connected to Charles or any web proxy or you are also, you know, uh, not redirecting the Apple App Site Associations. Other things, other one looks fine and we don't have an error. Yeah, we have one more error here. That is, this is, <laughs> this is for the Apple Health app and it's again saying that no such host. If you write something like uh, this thing, no domain exists for that. And do we have any other errors as well? No, I don't think so. Fine, so we have three errors in our three applications. So this is the way we actually debug the Apple App Site Association. And considering the case, if uh, you, you get messed up with this uh, universal linking, it might be the problem of your host or maybe the JSON is not valid and or any other error you can just refer it in this particular sysdiagnose file and you got to know so again I'll go back to my all.sample and you can see that no error is there no error object is there this is approved this is approved so it means that our application has been oh, sorry our deep links our Apple App Site associations is successfully uh, downloaded and next time after five days apple will again check on this particular domain and if you know if there is some updations it will update it okay guys so i think you might find this interesting and you want to try as well to get the sys diagnose and everything so i was stuck with uh, the main purpose of this tutorial was i was stuck with some problem where i wasn't able to work with the universal thing so I was just trying that where I could find that whether this AASA, the Apple App Site Association downloads. So this led to me uh, to the console thing and then that consulting led to me to this sysdiagnose thing. And I really found it helpful. There was an error in my case and I was happily able to sort it out and now the things are working fine. So uh, how do you like this tutorial? If you like it, please give us a like and you know you can tell me anything if you like to hear from me or you want me to make a video of any kind of topic i will be really happy to help i'll try to make it okay guys thank you so much and have a nice day